up like good people and uh, it's been a crazy day. So, yeah, this one and this one is from Gemini, yep. right? And this one is clean by UP or FedEx. I always like these little buttons. This came from the USP. You want to say Gemini? Nope, I didn't pull. I know not have a first. And we've got one thing to show you there, and then something came from, oh, our friend Dorothy in California. And I bet you this is to um, send to get the food. Well, now a lot of people have a lot of their Oh, oh, that was already there. Yeah. There is another one in there, though. I brought one. Okay. Oh, oh, that's 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 no, oh, that was fun. Oh, oh, cool. Thank you. You guys, got a kitty in the other there's, there's three cases of Friskies, and, you know, I know that it probably looks like we have, we get a lot, but trust mm -hmm. me, we well, use an awful, awful, awful lot. So, um... When you're feeding mm -hmm. as many kitties as what we have in the rescue center, mm -hmm. this plus we have um, we have uh, the cat's clothes and the front porch kitties and all of them, and so it it does require a lot of a lot of food, and I appreciate that so much, Gemini. You're very welcome. Yeah, there you are. Thank you. Good boy. Yeah, and this is also from Gemini. And did you do what that? Um, Carrie's, Carrie's over here, Mrs. Ohio Keeper's school. Oh boy, the oh boy, boy is another, here's and, another um, thing. Just writing down all this. Oh, good, cool. Is this white? Yeah. Yes, yeah, cool. Two, two reams of white paper. Um, I opened up one probably a week ago, and okay, Rachel, it's getting down. Here's so, another. thank you. So, we got two reams of white paper. Rosa?
over it when I come out at night. I like to come out and give them another day because you know they're very, very hungry. And this is.
And I told everybody, hey, we're at the point with Bella that we will try anything, you know. And I did do some research on this. Veteran, I believe it's called. And um, it cleans, <laughs> treats, and heals. Come on, get in there, gentlemen. And some of you may have used this before, but we're going to try it. It's wound and infection treatment. Used to treat or prevent hot spots, mange, brain rot. Well, we got rot. No, we don't. <laughs> Rashes, post surgical sites, burns, scratches, eye infections. And I will have to get the magnifying glass and read this, but I will do that, and we will start this tonight. You know, I'm, I will never say that we know all the answers here because that would be about as far away from the truth as anything. I am always, always, always open to suggestions. And I love it when you guys send me emails with suggestions. There's a couple other people that's going to send a few things to help us try. And, um, yeah, when our vets say they're concerned, then I'm really triply concerned. So, okay. Um, everything we try. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we'll keep you posted on how things are going with it. And this one is from our friend Dorothy Wise from California. She's from Santa Monica, California. And if I remember right, I think Dorothy is the West Hammer that called me one night when when uh, Farah had one of her teachers. She was up there at the Elvis Academy. Oh, there's a West Hammer on the floor. She called me.
So I was thrilled about that. Um, we would like to go out there one or two weekends if possible. I got a really crazy month coming up, but if we can work out a weekend where we can go out there on a Saturday and do kind of like what we do at Walmart, we would love to do that. We have two new kitties now, and some of you might have heard the story yesterday. It was on the blog, and I spoke about it last night. Yesterday, uh, I was coming up on the, from the farm yard and heard a little meow. Anyhow, with Kurt's help, it took, took both of us to kind of beautiful kitty that we were okay. And once she came over to us, then it was like, oh my God, purr, 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 just a lover. Becky's already been in there and realizes how wonderful um, she is. So this morning, uh, I she looks a lot like Tommy D's Americat. So I wanted to name her Amira. So about a half hour after Amira was named, Paul had come early this morning to work. And he comes in just holding up this great tiger kitty and says, does kitty belong here? And the second I saw it, it's like, that's Amira's sister. It has to be. Same size, molars are all the same, the, everything. The teeth formations were, you know, the same age. And um, the teeth were the same. Uh, the size, the long hair, one's a gray tiger, the other one is a brown tiger. So we named her a name that Jody has suggested, and it's Adora. So the brown tiger is Amer um, Amera, and the gray tiger is a Adora. And when we're done here, can you help me remember, and I'll bring them up and show yep. you. Okay. Um, we have an adoption today, and a lot of you might have surmised that this was going to happen. Uh, Mary Catherine is officially adopted by Kate and Jack. You know, she strictly did take uh, Mary Catherine home only to socialize her. That's all it was going to be. But, of course, she fell madly in love with her, as did Jack, her husband. And uh, they are going to be leaving fairly soon, which makes me very sad, uh, to go back to Arizona. And so they wanted to make sure that everything was all done. So we'll get her shots done, her vaccinations done, her grooming done, her second leukemia, FIV test done. And she, because they need before our national FFRC surgery date, we can take her up there to Dr. Kennedy to get it done. So, I think I'm going to take it down to uh, Paul was here, and he, uh, it's been hot here today, and he had to work up on a tiny roof all afternoon. He said, you know, it's a building that we have out right behind uh, the rescue center, and that's where all the cat coaches come in and spend the winter out there, and you know we've worked really, really hard on that. It's, it's, uh, uh, with the help of Lowe's, it's insulated, we put the whiteboard up, it's just so, so nice in there. And we turned a couple of heat lights on uh, last week one day when it gets kind of cold, and it was, it was typically the new end, uh, how warm it got so fast and it retained the heat in there, so it's going to be great. But the roof was leaky. It is a flat leaf roof, it's just a minor little incline in it. And so Paul went up and made every single screw, which was probably a thousand screws in there. And he put some roofing thickener around it, and then he painted the whole thing with a fabric roof thing. So I think we will have that um, taken care of. In a couple of days, he's going to go up and take the holes up there. We'll go down below, make sure there's no leaks, and I think it'll be great. Cool, cool grass, cool, cool, cool grass. Our pole is missing. Did you reckon, did you notice that, no, that no. here? Our pole that we've had here, it goes up there to down there, and it's wrapped in the hem for the thistle, and with all the uh, nine steps that go around it, it's missing. Uh, that's because a couple of the steps, you know, we have to do some of the things here, and the constant pounding on it loosened it up. So, and the hem rope was just, Almost smooth. It was just really a mess. And we've already taken it off once and reversed it. So he's going to take it home and he's going to every single one of those steps and make them wider. Or something on the city. And he's going to make them out of cedar. So we're going to leave them here. And then we bought, we got a really good deal on the hemp rope. We bought 135 feet of it. And he will leave that. That's what it'll look like. It might take a little while, but we'll get it back. And then we have a bunch of questions. Um, Hudson is deaf, and Hudson is not deaf. The three main, re not re 
environment. So three main things you look for in a cat that has a tendency to be deaf is that they're white, they're boys, and blue eyes. Well, he's white and he's a boy, but he doesn't have blue eyes. That's probably what helps him, but he does hear. He does. Anyone get it adopted? Um, Mishka Scotty asked, or Mishka? Mishka Scotty asked, and that would be Anna, or I was going to call it Anna, it's Mary Catherine. You know, I, I mentioned a couple of nights ago, October is our lowest month of the whole year for adoption. So, and it is slow, but it will pick up. November will be good, and December will be, December, January, and February are our highest of all the months. Uh, Trevor George asked, uh, oh, how my parents are? I went out there today, and my dad was sitting up there looking pretty pretty, and I asked him how he was, and he said pretty good, and I was just thrilled. It, it made my day. So today was a good day for that. Cat lady, oh, it asked about the ages of the cat school. Probably the easiest way to do this is for me just to tell you when they uh, Riley is is five years old, Charlie is five years old, Madonna is five years old. That's the year that we took in quite a few. Timothy is five. Toy Boy is five. And it adds is Oliver is five. Honey is nine. Silva is five. Curious George is six, almost six. Simone is ten. Savon is um, eight. Roland is is eight. Muffin is eight. Lily is seven. Buffy is four. Jonah is seven, twelve. Twelve. That's seventeen cats already. So those are our guys. And I've got a picture of Simone I wanted to show you here in just a couple minutes. Um Nicaru asked about um Badu. Badu, you know, just came to us and you all know that she was blessed by Jean at our pet blessing to get a good home. <laughs> so, so we're hoping that pans out here. Uh, Badu is our uh, silver black, she's called Red Doll, and her birthday is August 1 of 07. So she's four years old. She has that little bit of tiny calico on her face. And Badu was not here as a baby, so this is our first stint with Badu. Uh, and Dakota asked how old Magenta is. Magenta was born in 97. I found Magenta's story, so I'm going to get that out here in just a minute and tell you that. Bubba, Bubba wanted to see Twinkle, and she's sporting her beautiful new colors, and we'll get that. Oh, you guys got that. So Bella, or so, so Twinkle got her new new collar is pink with the stars on it. I put it on her last night, watched it.
The larva usually migrates to an area just under the skin on the head or the neck of the animal. It then occurs under the skin for about three weeks and creates a cyst that can be as large as a marble. Also, the larva creates a tiny hole to the skin surface in order to breathe. This pale, pale steel opening is what lets us know that it's a cuterebra. So when these antiques can't come in with this, the, like it said, that opening, the, this might will come out, but this will happen. The head of that is at the surface, and you can see the mouth part in this. And they can be, I've seen them actually as big as the thumb. So this is what happened to our cutie. Uh, that one had been in there for a little while. This shows how fast they do it. So this is like July 4th, one week later, and three, three weeks later. So this was another kitty, River, Riviera. And then this is one event. I was going to share you some more story, but I must not have brought it out here. This is a dentist when she first, when she lived. You probably the purple here, but it shows that this was all purple. It's barely pink there, but when she first pulled in, this is what was purple, which is why she was named Magenta. And her babies were lilac, lavender, and fuchsia, and these, those three bottom pictures are her babies. Aren't they cute? They went to wonderful homes. She was the best mama. This was, this is Magenta then a little bit later. Look how young she looked. She's still a little girl. And Magenta originally, you asked about Magenta, she originally came here in February of week three. That's when she was pregnant. She had her kidneys in April. So the things that were on her when her kidneys were born had been there for already a month and a half. So this is how much darker that was. Thank you very much. 